Excuse me. Aren't you Donna Paulson? I am. And who might you be? David Fox. Fox Commercial Lease. Oh, I know who you are, Mr. Fox. You own the building. Please, call me David. You know, this isn't the only building I own. Hmm. Exactly how many do you own? 34. Well, David, if you think telling me that you own 34 properties is going to impress me, you just might be right. Well, I do love being right. And you know what? I wish I could keep doing this all day, but unfortunately, this isn't a social call. You want us to quadruple our security deposit? You took Jessica Pearson's name off the wall, and then you declared you want nothing to do with her. That is a material change in your firm. It could affect your ability to make rent. Look, we did distance ourselves from Jessica Pearson, but we also restructured the firm and we're stronger than ever. And if you need me to show you the books to prove it, I'm happy to do that. It's not gonna be necessary, Donna, but look, I've got this board of directors that I have to contend with. So if you could draft a letter documenting exactly what you just told me and hand deliver it to my office, I just might be able to keep them at bay. You know, if you wanted me to come to your office, you could have just asked. I thought I just did. Is this a bad time? You know, I don't think it's possible to have a bad time if you're around. Trust me, true words were never spoken. And just to make your day a little bit brighter, I have the letter you needed. Excellent. I don't want you to leave here empty-handed, so I got one for you, too. Here you go. You're kicking us out? I'm giving you 90 days notice. Then I'm kicking you out. That's a violation of our lease. It would be if you had a lease. It was rendered invalid when you restructured, which if I'm not mistaken, you just gave me proof of right here. So all that concern about us not being able to pay our rent was just... I believe they call it a ploy. Yeah, and I think we know what they call you. Why are you doing this? You guys have been carrying a below market lease for years. I saw the new girl on the block get promoted to a job she'd never done before and took advantage. So all that flirting was just bullshit? No, I never said that. This is business, that was fun. Mm, well, I don't find it fun. Because I may be the new girl on the block, but you just picked a fight with the best lawyers in the city, and in case you haven't noticed, they're on the block too. You want to go tell Harvey Specter and Lewis Litt, their new COO, just got served with that suit and cost them their home, you go right ahead. Or you and I can quietly amend the lease. The rent increases 100% over three years, and no one ever has to know. I'm not letting you get away with this. Rachel. I need you to drop whatever it is you're doing and come up with a lawsuit that sends the son of a bitch who owns this building to prison for the rest of his miserable life. Oh, okay, calm down. I have no idea what you're talking about. Our landlord tricked me into admitting that we restructured the firm and now he's filed suit to evict us in 90 days. Donna, this is bad. You have to get Harvey and Lewis involved. Rachel, I can't go to Harvey with this right now. I just, I, I can't. Donna, what's going on? I kissed him. What? I knew things were getting serious with Paula, and I just, I had to know. Donna, that's huge. It's not the point, Rachel. But I feel terrible because Harvey and Paula aren't together anymore. And there's no way you're gonna be responsible for that and for the firm losing its home. No, there's not. Okay, we might be able to find a way to fix this thing, but it can't be bullshit. Then let's come up with something that's not bullshit. Donna. So what do I owe the pleasure? I got a present for you. All right, let me get this straight. You're trying to use a statute meant to protect squatters to keep your lease. Not trying, doing. And that suit's already been filed, so you can either spend more in legal fees than you'll make increasing our rent, or you can drop this whole thing. Uh, I, I gotta admit, this is, this is very impressive. Except for one little thing. What's that? The clause in your lease, which states if the tenant initiates a lawsuit prior to engaging in arbitration, I have the right to terminate your lease within 30 days. We didn't initiate the lawsuit, you did. Did I? That lawsuit was never filed. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. You have so little respect for me that you would deal in bad faith twice. Hey, look, I did what I had to do, all right? And look, this isn't personal. Donna, I told you I own buildings all over the city, right? I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't know how to get what I want. And when word gets out that you treat your tenants like this, those buildings aren't gonna be worth shit. Trust me, when you got views like mine from Central Park to Battery Park, people don't care how they're treated. They just want in. As a matter of fact, I might have something for you on the other side of town. I think you guys are gonna love it. Because now that you filed this, you're gonna be moving sooner than you thought. Donna, can I talk to you for a second? No, Rachel, you can't because I'm too busy freaking out. Freaking out about what? We had him. It didn't work. 
There's a clause in our lease that says if we skip arbitration, he can kick us out in 30 days, not 90. No, that's only if we started the litigation. We didn't. He sued us. Not officially. What? You told me that- I didn't understand when I told you. Donna, you have to tell Harvey. I can't. Okay, then you have to tell Lewis. Paula wanted Harvey to get rid of me. What are you talking about? I didn't tell you the whole story. She wanted me gone and Harvey didn't want to fire me, so he went to Stubazzini and got him to offer me a job and I was going to take it, but then at the last minute, Harvey changed his mind. He chose me over her. It was only a few days ago and I can't be responsible for losing the only home that this farm has ever had. Donna, I understand all of that, but if you let your guilt keep you from giving him a chance to fix this thing before it's too late, He's gonna wish you took that job. Okay. I'll tell him. Rachel, we need to talk. Uh, what did Harvey say? I didn't go to Harvey. Donna, why not? Because he was busy with something else and I remembered one of the reasons he promoted me in the first place. I don't understand. Rachel, I know people. I know what makes them tick and I need you to pull another all-nighter and help me make that asshole back the hell off. Okay. So you brought along a friend this time. Oh, she's not just my friend. She's my lawyer. Hmm. Well, I guess you brought her along to withdraw your suit because you finally figured out there's no way to outsmart a man like me. No, she finally figured out what makes a man like you tick. And what makes you tick is being able to say to every woman you meet that you own the best buildings in the cities with the best views. Mm, because if you can't say that, then people might notice that you're really just an insecure little man who builds buildings to cover up his weaknesses. Get out of my office. Oh, we will. But if we do, those views that you covet, they're going away. What are you talking about? Oh, did you think I just came here to tell you I know what makes you tick? We now control the air rights across from six of your most prominent properties. So instead of their unobstructed views of the park, your top floor tenants will now be looking out at a 40 foot high box of tampons. What do you want? I think you know what we want. You keep your lease as is. Not quite. We're gonna need you to reimburse the cost of the air rights. And we'll take a 10% haircut on our lease. I'd call you a name right now, but I'm guessing you'd sue me. David, I really don't care what you call me right now because like you said, this isn't personal. It's just business. Here's our amended lease. 